Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your Tuesday, January 28th, 2020. Please keep in mind that time is an illusion and energies are fluid. So just because this is dated for the 28th, it doesn't absolutely mean that it has to resonate at that time, okay? Whenever you are guided to watch this reading is most likely going to be a message for you in that yes also keep in mind that um this is a general reading so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't as everything is not necessarily going to resonate with everyone and this may not even resonate with you at all you know use your own best judgment in terms of that and please don't try to fit any anything into where it doesn't naturally or already fit okay excellent so let's get into your pre-shuffle here we have Wow. Okay. So when I, oh boy, we have the page of wands and we have the two of swords and then, um, overall energy, we have the page of pentacles. And on the other side, we have none other than the lovers. And what I'm hearing with this page of wands, two of swords is clear and concise communication. <clears throat> um, there's a, there's a new start happening. There is some sort of communication. There may be an energy of um, re-identifying yourself somehow, rede redefining, redefining the lines. Um, maybe potentially that is that is a potential meaning, at least for me, with, when it comes to the Page of Wands. Um, but also, the Page of Wands is a messenger. Okay, <clears throat> and I have and what I'm feeling with this, with this Two of Swords, especially this side of the Two of Swords, it is. There's a message, there's some sort of communication that's coming from a place of balance, of a mental balance. And also there could be, because kind of what I, what I saw when I was looking at the cards and I was, you know, I was working on channeling the message. I was kind of giving an image of this woman sitting here on this rock, um, surrounded by this water. It's calm water, okay? When the water can represent your emotions. But also I was kind of seeing the clouds parting and the moon becoming visible so it's like the the storm has broken the clouds are parting and things are getting better even if at least on the surface but um at least that's where it would need to be right now okay this could be a pretty surface level situation that you're dealing with at least at the moment um maybe you haven't really gotten deep yet but with things being clear on the surface at least that provides you with some sort of opportunity to potentially go a little deeper or go a little further in the future i don't know where that came from but hey that's for somebody um but i'm just i'm i'm, I'm getting an image of like i'm feeling like the clouds are parting and i'm hearing everything is going to be okay um the moon is being revealed, but here the moon to me is speaking to your intuition. It's speaking to, you know, hidden aspects, something that might have been hidden before that isn't necessarily going to be hidden any longer. <clears throat> okay. With this page of pentacles here, you have a brand new start. Now it's, it's starting from the ground up. Sure. But the thing about the page, well, the thing about the pentacles suit is it's very much about commitment okay so even though this might be a, a, a brand new start you're starting from the ground up you're starting over whatnot whatever there it seems to be at least in some to some degree there's some sort of energy of committing to um something new a new challenge okay and then we and then we do have the lovers so this very well could be a new start in a romantic relationship a divine connection even maybe um if it's not that it's you having made a choice it could be a, a, a choice um of vice or virtue here but you know i i do i kind of see it as that like a choice between vice or virtue often with um the masculine or the the the, the man the, the masculine figure standing in front of the burning bush as vice being the choices the, the the opinions and the desires of other people versus the woman or the feminine figure standing in front of the the tree of knowledge um or is it i think it's the tree of knowledge or is it the tree of life i don't know whatever but standing in front of the tree um 
that would be the choice of virtue, meaning your own heart, your own higher self, you know, what the universe is guiding you towards. However, the, the biggest thing that I feel with this lover's card here is that this is a union between masculine and feminine. So either this is, you know, masculine and feminine coming together in the physical, you know, the counterparts coming together, or this is you starting something new embarking on a new adventure with that balance of masculine and feminine energy working together you know because look they are holding hands here okay so it's like I'm, I'm feeling like they're getting they're they're working in tandem they're working together um and then you know this is something that the the, the universe has brought together for you whether internally or both internally externally as well you know it, it's it depends i mean this is a general reading but this is a good energy. This is a good start. I heard, I, just, I literally, I was going to say this is a good start to the reading, but what I heard is this is a good start. So for whatever this is for you and whomever this is for, this is a good start here. Okay. Okay, cool. So let's, um, let's move forward and see what else we've got for today. Yeah. Okay. Let me give this one shuffle, and then we'll see what else. Okay. Here we go. Hi, spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for uh, January or Tuesday. January 28th, 2020. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, I'm going to give this four shuffles and we'll see what we have for the rest of the message today. One, two, For our Tuesday, January 28th, three. And last one, four. Alrighty, kids, let's see what we've got for today. So what do you want to discuss with us today, Spirit? What's going on with the collective for our Tuesday, January 28th, 2020? Yes, yes. All right, I'm going to give this one more shuffle here. One more. Just one more. Tuesday, January 28th. Ooh, 2020. Okay, we're going to stop right there. Oh, wow. Okay, oof. All right, so we have overall energy of the Ten of Wands with the nine of swords we have the knight of wands which is in the reverse the queen of pentacles which is in reverse the queen of cups and the wheel of fortune very interesting so Hmm. Okay, there is some sort of fear here. The Nine of Swords keeps coming up. And the fear is of burdens from the past. With the Ten of Wands, okay? Um, there is There has been some serious karmic change that's happened here. And it's so crazy because when I was... When I was like starting, when I was sitting down and like, you know, starting to get connected and, and starting to channel, you know, and starting to get in the mode to channel for the collective here. Um, the, this, the, the Wheel of Fortune flashed me, like I caught a glimpse of it, you know, and I was like, huh, that's interesting. I wonder what that message is. And then it came out here, which is, that's really kind of cool. So there, there has been some sort of serious karmic change that has happened here for you, or maybe someone that you're connected to, connected with. Um, 
and it was manifested deliberately. I want to say either you, I, either you deliberately manifested it, or they deliberately manifested it, or the both of you did. Whomever. It, it, I mean, oh, come on. There we go. Um, it doesn't. I mean, it, it, either both parties did this, or if if this if we're talking about a situation in which we have two people, um, like say a divine partnership or something like that, with the lovers card that was out in the pre-shuffle, um, or this is something that you deliberately manifested, but I just get this strong energy that you really uh, took the wheel, okay, as much as you possibly could, right? You took you took as much control of your life as you could, and you deliberately manifested some sort of shift here. Um, we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse with the Knight of Wands in reverse. Then we also have the Queen of Cups upright. So I'm I'm kind of getting two scenarios with this. One, there could be a situation in which someone is no longer pursuing. Um, what I'm hearing is an ideal mate in quotes, but the feeling that I get from this is this is just, this is quote, ideal from a corporeal standpoint if that makes any sense if that's even like correct grammar or whatnot whatever but it feels like this ideal mate is really just ideal on paper it's i they're they're ideal um because of the physical circumstances there isn't it, i don't there probably really isn't much love here it's just you know whatever's practical and with the Knight of Wands here, it's like in reverse, it's like you, this could be a situation in which potentially this is for the masculine. I, I kind of feel like this is for the masculine or this would be because I'm getting, I'm getting like wifey vibes from the Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, those are um, representations of um, like the, 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 the husband and the wife, right? This could very well be your a wife or a spouse. It doesn't really have to be. Okay, it's just someone that was that that looked ideal for you on paper, or maybe in the beginning. And it might be a situation in which, especially with this Knight of Wands here, that you really kind of like rushed into it or were really passionate about it. But I don't feel like there was much love involved with this. I feel like it was really just you know for society's um approval it, it might have been there might have been some sort of public pressure there might have been some sort of societal pressure fam familial pressure like uh, of of you know having this ideal circumstance which doesn't necessarily involve love I don't, I, I'm, I'm having trouble putting in any other words than that. But then instead of doing, going with this, someone dis, is, is looking to go instead to the Queen of Cups, to someone that they actually do have feelings for, do love. Now the other, because I'm, I'm getting two scenarios here. So the other situation that I'm kind of picking up on is maybe this energy with the queen of pentacles and the knight of wands this could be the same person as this queen of cups however right now the situation is being approached from from a point of view of love first so this so from this point of view this could be you will say this could be the feminine here that's deciding to make a shift that's deciding to make a change and approach something from a different point of view however there could be visions down the line of being wife, mother, whatnot, whatever, wifey, spouse type status. But right now, we're just focusing on the feeling aspect, the compassion, the unconditional love. There is a distinct fear with the Ten of Wands and the Nine of Swords here, Ten of Wands, overall energy, and the Nine of Swords. There's a distinct fear that whatever burdens from the past are going to keep something, some circumstance from getting up off the ground. Or it could just be that your fears are really kind of getting in the way right now and it's you're, you're overburdening yourself. There's no reason to even feel like this. You are, especially, yes, especially with this energy here, the, the, um, um, this image of this gentleman walking away from this 
what looks like to be a stone cast of of himself you're a new person you're walking away from the old person that you were or the old scenario the old circumstances that you were dealing with and yet for some reason you're still carrying some of the heavy load or the heavy burden i'm hearing you need to drop this and just clean slate it Especially since with this energy here of the Wheel of Fortune, deliberate change in the karma, deliberate change in your destiny, I guess. But you you deliberately changed it by taking as much control as you can, by taking the, the reins, by taking the wheel, and consciously directing yourself in this direction, if that makes sense. So there's no need to fear the past circumstances so that's what i just heard there's literally no reason to fear the past circumstances because the past is it's not it's not the same situation any longer it's a different game it's a different scenario uh, i'm hearing different people are involved you know it's not it's not necessarily going to be a recreation of what you experienced in the past especially if you don't allow it to be right okay All right, so let's get into some clarification now. And I wanna clarify, I wanna start with the Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands in reverse here. So let's get a little, a little more clarity on that. Okay, one last shuffle here, and then we'll just see. So look a little deeper into the Queen of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands. Both in reverse here. Okay. The Five of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune with the Knight of Wands again. Good Lord. Um... Wow. Okay, so this is taking me back to the original, what I was picking up on originally, where someone is letting go of some sort of karmic partner or karmic mate, karmic situation, karmic reality. I'm hearing something that they were never really destined to be truly a part of for a long time or for an extended period of time. And this is, I mean, there's definitely a differing of opinion here. There's definitely, it's probably a topic of contention. There could be some people that are really upset about this, that, um, you know, don't, don't agree, don't want this person to go in this other direction. And yet it's happening anyway. And it feels like they may be pretty passionate about it with the Knight of Wands here again. Because it's like they're going in the in the in the direction for them that's that's actually tr really right for them. Mm. Okay, I want to get a little bit more on this, please. Oh shit! There we go. We have the Empress with something else. So instead of oh, all right. Okay, we have the Six of Pentacles here as the overall energy. We have the Empress with the Seven of Cups. And then we have the Devil, the Tower, and the Queen of Swords. All right, so check it out, guys. We have a situation in which, um, you know, someone really has options or maybe had options in the past. But instead, instead of going for, you know, the, 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 the most practical option someone instead is going for the one that it could be the divine counterpart or it, it, it the one that is really truly the, the the best option i want to say the queen of all queens the empress the divine feminine instead of just going for a feminine energy that is i mean i keep hearing in corporeal existence i don't even know if that's the right term or the right word to use in this situation but it's giving me a feeling of just physical i mean it's literally just a physical thing 
It doesn't necessarily mean that there's really like love involved or anything like that. It's just, it's good on paper, okay? So instead, but instead of going that, and this, going for that, someone instead feels like they're going for true love, the empress, the queen of all queens, the absolute best option, you know, the one individual that just does all the things for you or for them, whomever I'm communicating with, okay? You have the devil with the tower and the queen of swords. Um... And so it's coming through as the Queen of Swords here. It doesn't have to anything to do with gender, okay? It's really just the energy. And the energy of the Queen of Swords is like, we're not, we don't even need to discuss this any longer. This is not up for discussion. This is toxic. This is not something that I want and I'm cutting it out and I'm making a change. It could even be um, that, you know, this person, this is most likely a masculine here, but uh, whatever, it, it doesn't matter. This is a general reading, so take it as it resonates. So if it resonates for you, then just take it as it is. But you could have been, or this person who's making this change could have really been hurt in, the, in this situation. I'm getting that from the Queen of Swords um, because the Queen of Swords is like the divorce, is potentially the divorcee or the, the Queen of Swords is an ice, an ice queen. She's icy, but that's because she's been hurt. Okay. It's not just because she's like strictly logic and all of that. No, she, in, in a lot of cases, the queen of swords represents someone that has been through a lot. Okay. And is really just trying to protect herself. It seems here that someone is making a serious executive decision to cut out, to cut out some sort of toxic energy, toxic way of life, something that is codependent, something that is not really the best thing for them. And it might be a big and sudden change because we do have the tower here. Okay. But it really does see, there's the tower right there. But it really does feel like this is an energy in which, look, this change is happening and this is not up for discussion. I've made my decision. Now deal with it. Six of Pentacles is the overall energy. There is an energy of giving back, of... For whomever this is, maybe this is someone that you're connected with, or this is you that I'm speaking to that's making this sort of decision. But this decision is being made in terms of reciprocity, the balance between give and take. And it's not even an energy of what I feel like. What I feel like here is this is for the person that is actually making this decision. You're making this decision because you want that reciprocity too. It's like what you've been what you've been receiving from the Queen of Pentacles, whomever this queen of this energy is, if this is a person, it's most likely a person, but if it's not a person, it's a circumstance or situation or whatnot, whatever. What you've been receiving from this Queen of Pentacles wasn't adequate. I'm not I'm not it wasn't adequate for you. I'm not gonna say that it was bad or or wrong in any way but from your place of truth like for you you know deep down that what you were receiving from the queen of pentacles was not the full monty it was not exactly what you wanted it was it was leaving you maybe feeling empty maybe even feeling broken a little bit so now you're making this decision you're changing your karma. You're you're cutting out the options. This is something that you had been, you've probably been thinking about over and over for a very long time, trying to come to some sort of conclusion, trying to understand what was going on, trying to make up your mind here with the Seven of Cups. I just, I get a feeling that this is something that you really, whomever this is for, you've really, really been mulling over this for some time. Because this is a serious, I just heard, this is a serious decision. This is a life-changing event for you, okay? But you're making this decision, you're making this change so that you can receive exactly what it is that you want. It's not like you're, it, I really don't feel an energy of like narcissism here where, you know, you just want to take, 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 take. No, you want to give, you want to, you potentially want to be in this relationship with someone, but yet you want to receive back that which you give out. And you, it just feels like you weren't getting it with that Queen of Pentacles energy, okay? Not to say that this person is bad. I don't want to speak ill of whomever the Queen of Pentacles represents for you, but at the same time, it was toxic. And it was mainly toxic. Well, I'll just say it was toxic because of the fact that it was potentially codependent or it was um, something that wasn't truly in alignment with who you truly are or what you really want. Okay. <clears throat> so... 
let's go here. And I'm going to do these together. The Queen of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune. And I'm gonna I'm gonna shuffle a little more and we'll see. We'll see what comes out with this one. Now here's the thing. Both of these queens' backs are turned. So they So what this means to me, and I really do feel I really like do feel like this is a masculine individual uh, or energy excuse me not an individual because we're not talking gender we're talking energy here but this is someone that resonates more with masculine energy that's what i'm feeling here so i, I feel like that's who i'm talking to so um both of these queens backs are turned so i get the feeling that this is really not something that you're really discussing with them or this is not a decision that you they're really a, a part of they're not a, I feel like they're not a part of your decision making process here. All right, this is an internal battle is what I'm hearing, especially with this 5 of wands energy here. Okay. I'm going to give this one more shuffle and then do I want to break these up? No, keep them as they are. All right. So the Queen of Cups with the Wheel of Fortune. Let's look a little deeper into this here. All right. There's been a serious change in perspective. We have the we have the hanged man and we have the 3 of cups and we have the queen of wands now. Interesting. Oh, I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay. So, um we're actually what we're talking about here. Now we're talking to the feminine counterpart. Because now I'm I'm being reminded of the scenario or the storyline in which um, wow, the storyline in which we had someone that is really just focusing on the love and the feeling aspect of who they are to a certain individual. Um, there has been a major change in perspective in this feminine individual, this feminine energy. Again, when I say that, I mean, I don't mean gender, I'm talking about energy, but there has been a massive change, a massive change in perspective here. And it's led to the desire to reconnect, to reconcile, to come together, to, to, and, and this could very well happen in a very, like a, a social setting. Okay. Queen of Wands, confidence, charisma, beauty, magic, fiery, passionate. There's a level of self-confidence that has come into play here in terms of this. An activation too. I almost feel like this is an individual that is like literally stepping into their Queen of Wands status. Stepping into their Divine Feminine status even. Because I do see the Queen of Wands as a minor arcana version of the Divine Feminine. And here we have the, of the, uh, like the ultimate energy of the Divine Feminine in the Empress right here. So we'll say the Masculine is choosing the Empress... And that same individual that is the empress is stepping into his or her divine feminine power. And is being confident enough to make a change, to, to reconcile maybe even. I want to get a little bit more here, please. Talking to this divine feminine energy. The Two of Swords again? Good Lord. The Two of Swords with the Four of Cups. Okay, well. And the Four of Swords is at the... Wow. All right, but this person is still... This 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 person is still kind of on the fence about a lot of things. Probably a little bit indecisive. Now, this could have been... Okay, well, actually, let's say it this way, because this is what it... This is how it's coming through now. This feels like it was a past energy where you were indecisive you might still be a little bit indecisive but um yeah so someone was this individual this this queen of cups here was very indecisive in the past not wanting to get rejected again um maybe even not wanting to reconnect for a while there maybe there was a sense of boredom an, an, a sense of unrequited love whatnot whatever um and so someone was on the fence about it but 
what happened is four swords, they went within and they figured out and they were like, okay, what does my heart say about this? That's where, because you, you see, because there's that heart right there in this nest with this individual, so the, with this woman in the card. So it's like, okay, well, what does my heart truly say? And they listened. And so now it's like, okay, well, I guess I'm going to follow through. There's that change in perspective. Hanged man to the three of cups. This is a past energy, the two of swords with the four of cups. Okay. And this person might have been, may very well have been rejected in the past by the same people or the same circumstance, the same individual, whatnot, whatever. But there's a change that's happened here. Someone is literally, this feminine energy is really following their heart, especially since that's how it came out with the queen of cups here. It's like, okay, well, I'm in love or I love this person or whatnot, whatever. And I want to give this another shot. So yeah, this person really did consciously take the wheel, take the reins and, and changed some things and has, has created a, a, an, 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 a momentum of change here for yourself or whatnot, whatever. And four of swords is like you, you rested, you meditated, you were like, okay, fine. I'm going to listen to what my heart says. And my heart says, do this. That's seven of swords. That seven of swords keeps popping out though. This has been a secret. This is something that you really have been keeping to yourself. This is something that you're not really trying to let people in on right away. Okay. I was getting that with the Seven of Swords because that's the second time the Seven of Swords showed itself. I haven't been mentioning it because I wasn't really trying to, I mean... Hmm. Okay, but anyway, the Seven of Swords is coming out, but it's coming out in terms of like, you're keeping this to yourself. You're it's like you're keeping your cards close to your chest. You're not trying to give everything, all of your, <laughs> all of your secrets away, or like, you're not trying to show your whole hand or whatnot, whatever. That's not a bad thing. All right. So what I want to do now is I want to get final closing message from spirit and then we're going to get our oracle guidance and i feel like oracle guidance is going to come from the light worker oracle one last shuffle here okay all right all right all right so let's see final closing guidance from spirit here in terms of this situation Okay. Overall energy is the page of wands yet again. All right. So communication is coming forward. That's what I'm hearing. We have the 10 of pentacles, the ace of cups, the nine of pentacles and the page of pentacles, but the page of pentacles has come out in reverse. Now that's interesting. Interesting. I mean, what I'm hearing is no new start. I mean, that doesn't make any sense. Oh. Oh. No new start unless the love is sincere. So here's the thing. There is potential for a new start here. There is absolutely potential for a new start here. But that's kind of... That feels a little up in the air. We have the Ten of Pentacles, which in, in my opinion as a reader is a completion of a life lesson, a completion of a journey. We have the Ace of Cups. We have the Nine of Pentacles. I'm gonna be honest with you. I wanna turn this page of Pentacles up right. And I think what Spirit is saying with the fact that this is this page of pentacles is reversed is that nothing is really set in stone. 
it, Page of Pentacles is here. Page of Pentacles and the Page of Wands came out in the pre-shuffle. The Page of Pentacle is, Pentacles is here. We just don't, we can't really tell you which way this is going to go because of the laws of free will. But this is literally a situation in which, okay, 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 now I'm really getting it. This is literally a situation in which we have someone here. This could be both of you if we're talking about a romantic situation, but we have someone here that is standing ready, prepared, ready to move forward, ready to take this thing to the next level, whatever that may mean for you, okay? However, we also, have, well, okay, but then we also have someone else here that is potentially ready to send a pentacle, give a pentacle. Or it could be that you being in this nine of pentacles energy are in a position to receive some sort of pentacle from someone, to receive some sort of offer of commitment in some way. Again, take it however it resonates for you, okay? But they're not going to accept that pentacle if the love is not there. Ace of Cups. The Ace of Cups is the deciding factor here. So I guess what Spirit is saying with this is hold your own. I mean, you've learned this lesson, haven't you? Well, it's time to put that to, to good use then. Are you going to accept... piecemeal or are you going to accept the real thing conversely for the other person are you going to give piecemeal or are you going to give the real thing ace of cups the choice is yours but someone here stands at the ready available ready to accept some sort of pentacle nine to the ten ready to accept some sort of pentacle to complete the cycle the Ten of Pentacles also is feeling like an energy where something is really finally coming together. All the steps have been taken, all the processes have been through, all the lessons have been learned, and now something can come together. I just keep hearing, I'm not going to take this offer unless the, unless the love is really there. And I'm hearing you also, I'm hearing you're going to have to show me in some way that the love is truly there. I mean, that. take that with a grain of salt. And also, I'm really not trying to pressure anybody into anything that they're not comfortable with. But that's kind of the energy that I feel from this. So if that's you, I, I don't know, you might want to like ease up a little bit. But also, that is part of the lesson here. It's like, look, I'm not, unless, uh, unless you can show me that you, that you really care. then I won't be able to take this on. And I just heard I'm not ready for that yet. Okay, so maybe the offer could be on pause maybe for a little bit. I don't know. I'm, I think I'm going too deep into this. I just don't want to pressure anybody into anything that they may not necessarily be ready for, but maybe you are ready for it and you just are denying it. <laughs> Okay, um, apprehension. All right, cool. But it's okay. It's just that whatever, whatever this means for you, the love has to be there. It can't just be, oh, okay, there we go. Now we're going back to this situation here where someone was offering, um, was offering commitment, but it was for maybe financial reasons, for physical reasons, for like, because it looked good on paper, whatnot, whatever. But instead we're giving that up for true love, true unconditional love. That's, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. So let's now close out your reading with some Oracle guidance from the Lightworker Oracle. All right, let's see what we've got here. One more shuffle. Yep. 
yeah this is this is okay i'm sorry i want to say this before i pull this card what spirit is really coming through and saying here is like you learned enough of a lesson to not really allow yourself into that completion phase unless the feeling is there the emotion is there the emotional connection is there it's not just about the physical you could offer all kinds of physical circumstances money fame fortune the nice house the nice car all kinds of like physical benefits but that's not really what's what we want here what we what we want is the emotion is the the true love the emotional connection and that's what this lesson has been all along ten of pentacles so i'm seeing the ten of pentacles as two different things one the completion of a life cycle and the ending of a, a certain lesson right and two the the coming together of the culmination of something okay okay Let's get your oracle card. Oracle guidance, please, spirit, for today. There we go. Card number 17, family of light. Okay. All right. All right, here we go. Family of light. The limits that much of humanity place upon their love, that they will love their own family, country, religion, or community better than they love those on the outside, do not restrain your heart. You are capable of loving humanity, of loving all creation on earth as an extended spiritual family. You will love all as your own. You are meant to belong to a broader family of light. Okay. While some souls have incarnated to learn about us and them, others have the purpose of teaching unconditional, all embracing love. You are one of these. You have taken life to love the many, not just the few. For this life purpose to be anchored, issues in your biological family may keep you from bonding with them in a typical way. Perhaps you were the odd one out in your family, the one whom no one really understood. Perhaps you felt loved but couldn't live the way your family seemed comfortable to live. Maybe you lost family members through divorce, disease, depression, and death, or through addiction or emotional immaturity that left you disconnected from key family members. If your father figure was absent, whilst you must do the emotional healing work to process that pain, understand the purpose of that absence for your own spiritual connection to remain intact, pure, and powerful. If your mother figure was absent, whilst you were advised, whilst you are advised to do the emotional work to process that pain, understand the purpose of that absence for you to look beyond your immediate family to find your place and find yourself belonging to and being devoted to the entire human race. This pain was part of how you remained unconditioned by the more typical family bonds. Whilst these bonds are necessary for many souls to experience their life lessons, the difficulty you may have experienced regarding them hoped, I'm sorry, helped push you to become a child of love. You had to seek, quote, family in expansive ways, remaining open as you searched for love rather than feeling satisfied by your immediate tribe and closed to those outside it. You can come through your experience, not as a victim of circumstance, but as an empowered soul. Process it, heal, forgive and step into the spiritual blessings gained through your atypical relations with your biological family. Although you were not meant to belong in a traditional way to your family of origin, you shall not be denied the love you need. You are here to help build a human family joined by more than blood or legal union. It will not just be you living, loving the world, but the world loving you. The power of your heart to give and receive love shall not be wasted. So, it is time to gently undo the patterns of attempting to fit in. Instead, trust that you are always, I'm sorry, trust that you are exactly as you were meant to be. When you do, when you do, your magnetism will draw love and friendship from those who vibrate at a similar level of consciousness to you. Leave past hurts and rejection behind. You no longer need them to grow. Be brave. Pr 
pray to connect to your family of light, not only in spirit, but also here on earth. Let them in. Know that you belong here in spirit and in body to be loved, held, touched, listened to, and accepted just as you are. Beautiful, guys. So so I wanna, I just want to make sure I point out, take that with a grain of salt. Obviously, that was a very specific um, uh, rendition of this, right? Okay, but, um, you know, take it as it resonates with you. I just feel like ultimately, and what we got to at the very end of that was what I was feeling like this was talking about. It's about breaking free from karmic chains, breaking free from some sort of conformity and living as a true expression of love, living as a true expression, authentic expression, expression of yourself even, right? And showing people how love can really encompass all. Okay. So there you have it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that was helpful for you. And with that said, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. And I look forward to connecting with you again for our next cup of coffee tomorrow morning. Yeah? Take care. Bye.